Hello, my name is Shannon Bertina and I'm a rising senior attending Rutgers University, New Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm majoring in biomedical engineering and I'll be graduating in May of 2024. This summer, I was a part of the SURF program at the University of Florida. I conducted research under Dr. Josephine Allen in the Materials Science Department. My research goal for the summer was to design a scaffold and see how human umbilical vein endothelial cells, also known as HUVEX, would react to the scaffold. One set of scaffolds were kept the same while the other set was altered, which I'll get more into later. This is the cell culture room where I would need to take care of my cells, alter my scaffolds, and conduct a few of the experiments that would need to be done to test the angiogenic processes of the HUVEX cells. This is my graduate mentor removing the HUVEX from the nitrogen chamber so they could be unthawed. These were the cells I worked with for the entire summer. Once the cells are thawed, they need to be taken care of inside of these flasks with growth media. Here I have a microscopic image of the HUVEX cells that were decently confluent. This is the electrospinner that was used to create the scaffold. The electrospinner works by attaching two voltage clips, one to the clip of your syringe and the other to an area behind your spinning mandrel, and allowing the spinning mandrel to collect the polymer solution shooting out of the syringe. The best way to think about it is like a cotton candy machine, where sugar fibers are being spun together to make your cotton candy. Once the scaffolds were created, the next part was cutting and sterilizing them. They were sterilized by doing multiple ethanol washes, and then the next thing was to add the cell media and make sure that the scaffolds stopped changing from their red slash pink color to yellow. So as you can see here, they're pretty yellow and they kept changing colors, but after doing a couple of washes, they were able to stay pink. From there, we could separate them into the fibronectin and native scaffolds. From here, our next steps were washing the scaffolds and then seeding on the cells. One of the experiments we conducted was PCR. PCR was used to see if the cells seated onto the two different scaffolds were exhibiting angiogenic genes. The other two experiments, which both involved the microplate reader, were LDH and picogreen. LDH was used to see if our scaffolds were toxic to the cells in any way, and the picogreen study was used to see if the cells were proliferating. The next few days were then dedicated to data analysis as well as seeing if we needed to redo any of our experiments. I would like to thank SURF and the University of Florida for allowing me this opportunity to see what it would be like to be a PhD student at UF. I really enjoyed being a part of the SURF program and I'm glad I got to do that this summer. I would also like to thank my PI, Dr. Allen, for accepting me into her lab and allowing me to expand my research experience. I'd also like to thank my grad student, Magnolia, for being there every step of the way. Thank you.